the Nifty 50 rose by 0.17% and ended the day at 25,278, with a P.E. ratio of 23.5. The Nifty Midcap 150 index currently trades at a PE ratio of 44.2 and the Nifty Small Cap 250 index currently trades at a PE ratio of 31.6. The India 10-year bond yield currently stands at 6.99 and the US 10-year bond yield currently stands at 3.93. The ticker tape Fear Greed Index currently stands at a value of 41.48 which is in fear zone. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit Singapore on September 4 to 5 at the invitation of Prime Minister Lawrence Wong, aiming to play a bigger role in the region where China has significant influence. A vast majority of mobile subscribers who participated in a survey reported receiving pesky calls daily with most calls related to financial services and real estate, according to an online survey firm. PVRI Knox plans to shut down 70 non-performing screens and explore realty monetization. Global investment major Blackstone Group's India-dedicated logistics platform, Horizon Industrial Parks, has emerged as the lead partner to manage the government of India's portfolio of 13 last-mile logistics assets across the country. India's power consumption in August fell by around 4.9% year-on-year to 144.2 billion units, primarily due to rainfall across the country which lowered temperatures. FMCG maker Tata Consumer Products Limited has merged three of its wholly owned subsidiaries with itself after receiving approval from the National Company Law Tribunal and other regulatory bodies. Leading textiles and apparel company Raymond has received a significant number of inquiries from global firms following the crisis in neighboring Bangladesh and is ready to seize this opportunity, according to its chairman and managing director, Gautam Hari Singhania. India's Goods and Services Tax Collections, an accurate proxy for domestic consumption demand, climbed by about a tenth to rupees 1.75 lakh crore in August as shown by recently published data. Smaller brands like Motorola, Nothing, and Poco, which make up the long tail in the smartphone market, were the major contributors to the 7.2% year-on-year growth in shipments in the first half of 2024. The bond to equity earnings yield ratio stands at 1.64, which signifies premium nifty valuation. To understand beer ratio analysis, please refer the explanation text on your screen and on the description of the video. For a one-to-one -one discussion with a highly experienced finance professional who always keeps your interest ahead of everything, you can write to us at info at the rate eacapital.in and one of our team members will get in touch with you.